Well, it, it isn't your town, or is Newcastle a town or city? It's a city, isn't it? Newcastle is a city, and technically, I'm from the next town over. Right. It's just, it's just when when you say to someone, "I live from Newcastle," all right? Oh, like like where Cheryl Cole's from? Yeah, I know that. If I say to someone, "Oh, I'm from Gateshead," they're like, "What the fuck is Gateshead?" Well, see, we, we've got that as well because technically, I don't live in Braintree. I live in Rain, but no one knows what the fuck Rain is. So when I tell them I'm from Braintree, they say, "What you mean the place where Freeport is?" If if I ever go, if if we, we, like when we eventually do meet up, if if I come down to you, I'm gonna find because I'm guessing there's a sign for your town which says like "Welcome to Rain" or something. I'm gonna I'm gonna change it with some like spray paint to "Welcome to Pain." That will see. That's see the funny thing is right. That would be showing more care to the sign than has ever been shown to it. It's it's one of those signs that's covered in moss that you can't even oh. read it. <laughs> so you you should do that because then it will it will well, be more than the cancel. It'll be accurate. Really. Yeah. I mean, it, it could be worse. You could be living next door to Gemma Collins. Well. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Not next to me, but a few houses up, there is there is a gobby cow that sounds exactly <laughs> like that. I'm claustrophobic, Darren. Do you know what I was watching the other day? I was watching um one of those Big Brother celebrity arguments. I was watching one with Kim Whitburn. Kim Whitburn. Kim Whitburn. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> I was watching Kim Whitburn. Kim Whitburn. When she's having a go at everyone in the house, oh, and, and she is nasty girl. She, <laughs> it's because it's, it's she's going, "You horrible, horrible people! You horrible, horrible girl!" <laughs> I fucking love, I love Kim Woodburn. The thing she's is, my right. spirit animal. Well, she's actually in the right because there's there's a guy who cheated on his wife in there, and he goes, "You're horrible. You're an adulterer. You adulterer. Oh, horrible." Have you, have you, have you not seen the Have you not seen the argument you had with Philip Schofield on this morning? I think oh. I, know, I do. I do remember that, but I can't remember what it entailed. Have you watched the finale of Walking Dead yet? Yes, I have actually. Yeah, but I have seen it now. <laughs> is it any good? Um, well, I no, because what they did is they didn't <laughs> use it as a finale. They used it to set up all the spin-off shows. Ah, right. Although, although I will admit, I, I am kind of glad that they put Rick in there because that that was easy. To, apart from Rosita dying, that was the best part of the whole. And I'm just sat here like I have no idea what the fuck you're on about. Well, basically, what happens is is they defeat Pamela, so they overthrow the. Uh, the uh, the Commonwealth regime and the, the the fascism, and then basically what happens is um, they arrest her. But Maggie wanted to kill her, but she didn't, so she just had her arrested. Maggie Thatcher's in The Walking Dead. All the wow. variant walkers as well, although the variant walkers didn't actually go anywhere. It was just kind of introduced, probably for the sake of spinoffs, and then and then it goes to a year later, and Eugene has a child that he named after Rosita because she was his best friend. Um, and then Daryl gets on his motorbike and he rides off because now he knows that Rick is alive because of what Judith told him. And Carol was supposed to leave with him originally, but because the actress uh, couldn't uh, move to France for f- certain reasons, um, Daryl had to leave by himself and Carol stays behind. Um, and Ezekiel is in charge of the Commonwealth with Mercy. You know there's a better team. show than and, uh, The Walking Dead? There's not. I promise you there's not. Th- th- there is. In oh, fact, fuck. I'll I'll say my favourite line from it. It's definitely oh. well, it's definitely something life on Mars. <laughs> I'm not even... How many birds does it yeah, take to shoot yeah, the light bulb? Yeah, there we go. I know the actual answer to that. Really? Yeah. The answer is zero because they just get their husbands to do it. Lazy buggers. <laughs> and people wonder why we are on the verge of getting cancelled. Actually, yes. Yeah, Say on point. the verge, we just well, no, are because any, anybody was sense. Okay, to even out, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a joke about men as well to to even out the to, to prove that <laughs> I'm I'm not sexist, right? How many men does it take to change a light bulb? Uh, depends how much Stella they've had and how many times they've beaten the wives. <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I actually wrong? Well, that's what I was going to (laughs) say. So, to clarify for the brainlets out there, the joke here is that neither men nor women are better than each other because men drink too much and beat too many people up and get triggered over football and it's pathetic. And women... um, I'm not a woman, so I can't really comment on women. And I love women, yeah. I mean, it's the height of a a woman, but like... Yeah, I'm the height of a woman, so yeah. I blend. Did I tell you about the time I was invited to this birthday party when I was in pr- um, primary school? And there was 12 of us, and I was the only bloke that showed up. <laughs> oh, good God. Okay, the truck is still out there. 
I, I still can't get over the fact that you said you look like Asa Butterfield now. No, I don't. I don't think I do. To be honest, I think I think that was just a a rant. I look more like um. Because Asa Butterfield looks like a heroin addict. What's that? What's that? I'm not. What is that? <laughs> I mean, judging by the amount that I stammer, I can't really deny it, even though it's not true. If I was to, if I was to try and deny it, I would stutter whilst doing it, and that would completely invalidate my rebuttal. I think I look more like that Canadian guy, Timothy. Um, What's his fucking name? Oh, Timothy Chalamet out of yeah, June. That, yeah, I think I look more like that. He's a pleb. Well, I'm also a pleb. I sit on the internet and I make jokes that offend I mean, people. To be honest, I can't even say anything about you. I mean, you did used to look a bit like Harry Potter. Yeah, but I've got a, I've, I've got a different cut of my gym. What the hell? Was I just on top of you there? Sorry? No. Sorry, what? No, no, no. Did, did you did you... <laughs> <laughs> Did you see in the game my character like my, bounced? Is my name Paul McGann? I'm just gonna not talk. The rest of this video is just gonna be total <laughs> silence. It's gonna be the deadest podcast ever. But it won't be total silence, Finn, because you've got your wonderful mates in the trunk. That's a good point. Even if I try to be quiet, I'd have to have a rage out there because it... like, <laughs> it's still there. The guy, the guy in the in the driver's seat, I can just about see the top of his head. Right, he looks like an absolute cretin. Does he look like he supports EDL? Yeah, he does. He, 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 you can see like that he's got these bulky shoulders, so he definitely goes to oh, football games, drinks every definitely drinks pint Stella. of beer. Definitely a Stella drinker. Yeah. I want to re- 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 re-emphasize, right, I actually hate men more, okay? I genuinely hate men more than women. I've had more problems with men, and this is this is a prime reason why, because of these... Paul McGann is not one of them. Paul McGann's the exemption. Well, according to a certain 8th Doctor novel, Paul McGann is actually a non- the non-binary Doctor. You not read that novel? No. Go on to a TARDIS wiki. There's something about the Eighth Doctor not actually being a bloke. I know. He, I know the the it's novel's like actually ruined Calais the fact he's it. half human. I wish they'd kept that. To be honest, I wish that was true. But nope. Sadly, <laughs> oh, look, <laughs> Finn, your time. friends are here. Yeah, the fucking turkeys. I'm gonna eat fucking turkey Christmas dinner. Fucking looking ass bitch ass fucking turkey. Fucking. Okay. Oh, sorry. I mean, I can't even criticize you saying you look like Jimmy Chalamet since I'm literally like on December second. I think it is. I'm getting a mullet, so you're gonna look like David Bowie. Yeah, because I'm planning on dying at Ginger as well, and I've been told I can't oh, do no. that by Rachel. Yeah, I mean, I agree with her on that. You, we, we're trying to phase out the gingers, to be honest. I mean, she is ginger, so but they need to phase her out as well. Don't join the cause. If you can't no, be I, and join them, it doesn't work. Because if, if people apply she, by that logic, think about how 1940s Germany would have went. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, exactly. No, she, her logic is because she's ginger, I'm not allowed to have ginger hair. Oh, so, she, so she's gatekeeping hair colours. Sort of, yeah. I mean, I don't agree with the logic, but I agree with the outcome. <laughs> I mean, for anyone who's still watching this video, congratulations, you must be severely brain damaged. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, there we go. Now that last, last view is gone now. Uh, but if you want a reference for what my hair is going to be like, just look at any recent photo from Cave Town's Instagram. And I have no idea what any of that means, so that's over to you viewers to figure that one out. Yeah, he, did, he doesn't speak Northern, he just speaks Southern and Road Man. No, I speak, I want to kill myself. That's my language. <laughs> I remember when we, we first met and you used to say you were a self-identified roadman. Did I? I don't think I ever like, said well, I was a roadman. It was on a Gary's Mod recording, I'm sure of it. Well, well, was it was it a satire by any chance? I, trust me, I can't tell half the time when it is satire of you. It probably was satire then, because there is no... I think I would die before I identified as a roadman. <laughs> my favorite drink is Stella. My favorite activity is being Trevor. Actually, my favorite alcoholic drink is uh, Copperberg. So, all you wife beating oh, wife beating skunks can take that. No, no, no. That just makes you like a, a college dropout. No, I didn't even go to college. I actually completed my sixth form. Like one. Well, I mean, technically, I... I mean, you did. You did go to college briefly because I convinced you to, and then you went back yes. and you realized it was a shit show. <laughs> 
That's right. I mean, to be, to be honest, like, I don't know. I've tried Kottenberg. I'm not a fan, but I don't like, like, the alcohol wait, part. Wait, I don't wait. understand these people who are just like, I want to drink to get drunk. I, I The only time I'll drink stuff is if it actually tastes nice. I mean, I had a phase where I was like that. <laughs> Which is why the only things I drink are Disarano, Bailey's, and Buxfizz. I, I mean, I agree that Buxfizz is all right, but that's more of like a celebratory seasonal drink, really. I mean, oh, wait, and wait, also don't you, don't you Mal- Malibu. Malibu. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah Malibu, is, Mal- Malibu and pineapple is just go to. Disarano is the best one, though. Malibu used to be your rage drink. Yeah. Yeah, I've mostly gone I off mean, of alcohol it, now. It's only really Copperberg that I drink anymore. I, I, I was going to say, uh, this, this run was easily the best one. It just tastes like marzipan. Don't know. I've never had marzipan. Have you ever had Dr. Pepper? No. No, right, okay. I've, I've never Have you ever had, had almonds? No, I don't like I mean, almonds. We, know, we know you've had Corky from Essex. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on fire this one. morning. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, how's your McDonald's? Rub salt into the wound, maybe? Oh no, I haven't eaten the last burger. Thanks for reminding us. <laughs> the rustling. <laughs> Are you rustling that deliberately? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm trying to wrap it around the burger. I, I'm just here with my McDonald's and you're on the call and I just start going, eat it, just like the fucking bubble shock campaign. Well, That's babe, an obscure reference. Sarah Jane Adventures, love it. <laughs> Not obscure anymore now that I've just <laughs> called it out. Do you know what was really weird when I was watching Ashes to Ashes? Um, the fact that you were watching Ashes to Ashes? No, you, you, no the fact that one in one of the episodes, you know the guy who plays Alan Jackson in Sarah Jane Adventures? Yeah, yeah, I know. He was in the Last yeah. Kingdom as well. Uh, he was playing a nonce in Ashes to Ashes. I have a feeling that there's another show where he plays a similar type of person. <laughs> I can't remember what it is, but I swear I've seen something like that before. Tell you what, I didn't like know that. about the actor. He was actually David Tennant's understudy. Apparently they're really good mates. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh fair enough. Did I win? Oh no, that's not even the last round. <laughs> <sighs> have you have you seen that David Tennant's been cancelled recently as well? I saw I saw something about people are just mad that he's come back. No, because he's playing a Nazi in a play, a man who starts to like Nazism. So then shouldn't they also be cancelling Sasha Dewan for playing a Nazi master? Yeah. And then shouldn't they also be cancelling Jodie Whittaker for using his race to defeat him? <laughs> I mean, that, that's exactly what happened, isn't it? She literally turned off his perception filter and then they came and took him away. Am I wrong? <laughs> there are so many offensive jokes I can make right now. Do it, because I, I don't want to be the sole target of this video. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Well. Don't let Matt Hancock hear you doing that. Mm. What was that little noise you made afterwards? I'm trying to make sure I don't spit, I'm trying to make sure I swallow. Um yeah, that does seem about <laughs> like, given the noise you just made. Oh good god. I can't get help all McGowan. What? <laughs> Did you hear something? Uh, yes, I could hear something. It's called the fucking trucks. If I didn't hate my life before now, I certainly do now. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised you haven't like went outside and just told them to fuck off. Oh, wait a minute, they've gone. <laughs> oh, no, one, of them, one of them's gone, the other one's just backed up out of view of my window, so, he, so I can still hear his engine, but not be able to see and judge him. <laughs> Stupid little cunt. <laughs> don't tell everyone, Finn's having a wonderful day. Yep. Definitely don't want to fucking take an overdose of barbiturates right now. Uh... 
Okay, here's time for my advice on life, everyone. <laughs> Don't kill yourself, just kill the people that make you miserable. End of lecture. Don't kill yourself unless your name's Gemma Collins. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hasn't she been through enough with a miscarriage? I mean, actually, yeah. And to be fair, she's already commi committed career suicide as well, so... <laughs> Because she committed career suicide by being Gemma Collins. Yeah, that's a good point. I know she can't help how the way she is, but my god, she is absolutely useless. I just realised there's someone else from your county who I'm sure has the county in his last name as well, who's you're brain about, dead. You're talking about Joey Essex, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, you're right. He is probably the most... I, I actually want to kill him. He's done nothing to hurt me. I just don't like people that are called Joey Essex or look like Joey Essex or sound like Joey Essex. What is this? What, what, oh, easy. Would you rather be, be stuck spending a day with Joey Essex, Gemma Collins, or your wonderful cousin who works on EastEnders? Definitely my cousin on EastEnders, because then I could rinse the shit out of him. <laughs> I don't really care about the other two, but at least I could I could like I could make Lola Pierce jokes towards him as well. What what's his name again? The actor's name, just in case he ever watches this. His name is Jamie Borthwick. He plays Jay Brown on his Okay, Jamie, if you ever watch this, uh, I'm just gonna give you a tip. Don't do, don't go too fast on the roads. We know you can't handle it. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I love that. Yeah, that is a good that is a good tip. For him. <laughs> oh, I'm honestly surprised that he's been on the show for as long as he has. Cause he was like 11 when he started, and he's now like 25 or something. 26. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm stroke now. Uh, oh, see, it's, it's catching. The stroke is catching. Yeah. I've been beat too much with a foot nine. Oh, yeah, little mo. <laughs> did you like that thumbnail? I mean? Yes, I did. That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm surprised it went as well. I thought it was going to be like really bad, but I, it's actually <laughs> better than I thought. Oh, that you've just reminded us what I want to talk about. I had a full bit plan for this. Right. Right, so if we, if we were tasked with making the next Smash Brothers, yeah. and it was just a, a shit show meme fest, who would the characters be and what would their special moves be, their final smash? I think I think the first one, fairly obvious, has got to be Little Mo and her final smash yes. is just pulling out a massive <laughs> iron. And then she knocks the competition out of the arena. Um, I think I'd also put Phil Mitchell on there. Yes, and his final smash would be. Have you seen? Have you seen that scene of him where he runs across the square and then he drops Ben like little Ben because he burns. Yes, it, it, it would be that he just runs across the screen and just like slaps down his opponent. <laughs> um, I think Le I'd... Les Les Corker in his final smash is to dress up as <laughs> Bernie. It's still me, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd also have to put Jeremy Clarkson on there, and his final smash would be beating up his own Punched boss. A ginger person. He, he doesn't. He doesn't even use it on the competition. He uses it on his own team. Um, oh. I think I'd also include Richard Hammond. His special move would be crashing his car across the stage. <laughs> Colin Baker. Uh, his special move would be speeding across the stage. <laughs> Nicola no, Bryant that, would, no, would get no, married that, to the competition, and then no, they would... wouldn't that be your Jamie's special move to speed across the competition? No, no, Jamie can be a special skin for him. Like he can be an alternate color swap or whatever they call him. <laughs> Is this? Are you implying that he does blackface? No, 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 oh. <laughs> no, no. In, in, oh, in I super... hope he does watch this no, no, no. now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> let me explain. Let me explain. Before I get cancelled, let me explain. In Super Smash Bros, right? You you can change the color, like the, I mean, the I... coat color of the. It wouldn't be you that got cancelled. It would be him. He should be cancelled already because, like, well, speeding, <laughs> speeding across the road. Um, who else? Who else could be on our list? Bowden, the special power is to break up with uh, his uh, girlfriend. No, no. What he does is he impregnates the competition and then changes team. <laughs> um, oh, we could also just have Ben Mitchell, and his special move is just changing into another character. Stephen Beale and his special move is burning. <laughs> Stephen Beale, yeah, his special move is lying about his brain tumor, and then his friend gets one in real life. Um. <laughs> How cancelled do we want to? Have you seen them all stopped in the same place? Yeah, because none of the bots are brave enough to, to try the next. Look, look at it. 
They're all just jumping to their deaths. Look at that. They're like me. They're like <laughs> me on the car park. <laughs> Even these are all bots, or they're all fucking brain dead. I mean, that, well, look they're at all them. just leaping up. <laughs> oh, they must have been Abby Branning and Smash Bros. <laughs> Do you think I could jump off, right? I go back to the start and then still make it across the line before the rest of them? Yeah. Are you across? No, I was deliberately waiting. I've gone. I've gone oh, back. I'm the only oh, one wait, the... what the fuck? I, you, 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 you won. <laughs> that will teach me to be an ass. Yes. Oh, that's class. Oh. <laughs> you qualified for round two. There's not going to be a fucking round two, though, is there? Because I was playing with dorsal fucktards. Well, that, see that that puts that puts the comedy into this comedy video. Oh, <laughs> <coughs> uh, oh! I know Kelly Bright's special move can just be to get hammered and get the <laughs> CPS on her. <laughs> Dan- Danny Dyer's special move can be jumping off of the stage of his own volition. Um, oh, I'm, try- I'm trying to think of a way for these denders, but I can't. There's no. There's no easy time. To- oh, I know. Jodie Whittaker's special move. Um, she could just- kill the show she's on. Yep. Yep, she just kills. She, she, she just, just uh, she just unplugs the game. Chris Chibnall's special move is he rewrites all of his opponents' like moves and the skill sets. Stories. No, he just, he just turns them all into like um, politically correct versions of themselves. How about uh, David Tennant? Whenever he falls off the stage, he actually just comes back <laughs> without losing a life or money. Uh, he comes back with a new kid each time as well. Nick Capaldi's just to turn into Malcolm Tucker. And then into John Frobisher, and then he shoots himself and all his opponents. <laughs> John Barrowman just to get done from Miss Scott. Evelyn Smythe lobs a giant chocolate <laughs> cake across the stage. And <laughs> oh. Um. Oh. Oh. I know. I know. How about? Uh, no. 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 You were gonna say something about Gemma Finn Collins, don't. weren't you? I was gonna say something um a bit worse than that. Just say it. <laughs> I was going to say... You can um, edit it out. You can edit it out. No, I can't be asked to do any editing, to be honest. <laughs> I've given up on putting any effort into my life. Especially since... Can you imagine if we hired years. an editor as well? I would feel... But we'd have to pay him, like, absolutely everything <laughs> that we've got. Cause then no we'd one's have to pay him a plea bargain. <laughs> we'd have to pay him, like, a, a, to follow an NDA. You mean not talk about any of the offensive things you hear. He would have so much power. Oh, did you did you see? Did you ever see um, Britain's Got Talent? That Zoe woman who punched the producer because she didn't want to sing the Pink song. Oh yes, I remember her. And then she was. Is what, she dead now? No, no, she, no, no. You're thinking of Ariel Burnett. <clears throat> First of all, I am not a number. I'm a human being. She's the one that's dead. The the one I'm talking about is um. No, I know who you are. But yeah, it's like a horse. But yes. But she also she did a video a few like recently explaining that what happened is they told her in an email to sing a pink song, and they edited the actual show so so that it looked like she was just batshit crazy. I mean, I, the person I loved was the disc jockey, who was actually a racing jockey. Oh, I remember the one with the big woman in the leather. <laughs> Louis and Sharon were laughing. At her. It's just funny. I just can't see her riding a horse. <laughs> So tired of broken hearts and losing at this game. That would be me if I was on the expect for, of you. The way for, that I'm talking Sha- <clears throat> Fucking Sharon walking in the door. Oh, God, that is... Co- yeah, the whole panel gets sent off one by one. Cause no. Stop laughing. no. Can you imagine if after she did that, Sharon, Sharon walks into the door and then she just looks at the camera and she's like, oh, it's just like when Ozzy beats us. <laughs> no, how, when it, what, 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 the real funny moment is if she'd walked to that door and then just suddenly regenerated into Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, my God. Have you, see, have you seen Meet the Osbournes? Yeah, I have. Uh, I think you're going to... I think I know what you're going to quote. I, oh no, I, I haven't seen it. I've just seen clips of it, but it's so fucking horrifically bad. Have you seen? Have you seen the clip where Ozzy Osbourne turns on the blender and then he falls asleep to it? <laughs> <laughs> and there's one where he comes out. And he goes, "Someone has been in my room and taken my beers away from my room." <laughs> no, they're oh, darling. They haven't. Oh. Who's the beer thief? You're the beer thief. This is a bit like. I mean, it could be worse. It could be Geordie Whittaker. 
I've got a figure of Jodie Whittaker. I can see it right now because it's on my desk. I bet you wish it would regenerate in the palm of God. No, I, I wish it would regenerate into David Tennant and then just change all its clothes for no reason. Ah! Okay, that was a very welcome turkey noise. Sorry. I, I, I just I fell into the purple ooze below. Ooh, <clears throat> I, I could recolor that white and then, yeah, no. I mean, it would be accurate for me. <laughs> I'm right, not. Okay. I'm not even wrong though. That I'm not. I don't want to know how. Why that's. A, uh, I don't I mean, know if that's more, based it, on experience or just wishful thinking. No, it's just based on that. I'm a massive fucking faggot. Um, let me remind you, people. He's allowed to say that because he's part of the community. <laughs> Operative <laughs> word: the community. I love, I love the way you say it with such disdain. He's part of the. Community. No, no, the reason why I enunciated it was because last time I said it differently and I almost got in trouble. Off of who? <laughs> Do you not remember when I, when, um, when I said, uh, and he's allowed to say it because he's part of it, as if I was saying part of the problem. Part of the problem. <laughs> so this time I have, to, I, have to state, I have to establish that I mean the community, but I realise now the way I enunciated it makes it seem like I'm annoyed about it. How do I say it properly? <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, so hilarious. Are you not technically part of the community yourself? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it, it, I mean not Paul a, McGann. It, it's a fluid concept, though, isn't it? What, Paul McGann? <sighs> <laughs> See, I want to laugh, but everything going on outside is just too depressing. It could be worse. There is something worse than Paul McGann, which I remember you telling me about. Does it involve the game Portal? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Don't worry, it still it still plagues me as well. <laughs> what is this idiot oh. doing here? Oh, wait, you can push them onto the blocks. Yeah. Maybe I was just too... Oh, I felt... I like how it makes you oh, trip up when, like, that's just stupid. Uh, it's been programmed by uh, Trevor. Oh, yeah, but then where's the ironing board then? The ironing board is the platform. So where's the iron? Is that all of us just falling off? Yeah. A little mo appears in the sky. <laughs> A little mo. Oh, oh, bye. There it goes. That's yeah. That, that's that's Trevor falling falling on the kitchen floor. <laughs> oh, oh, right. So oh, you God, know, sorry. See, 